What's going on, everybody? What's happening on this beautiful Christmas morning? Actually, it's Christmas afternoon. 392 Blur Lines coming at you with another video. Today, we're going to just switch this thing up. We're going to twist it up. Your first time coming to the channel. I got to say, welcome to the channel. But today, we're going to do something a little bit different. As you can see, we sitting here and we're working on a Durango. Now, this is an ongoing issue with these Durangos and also the Jeep Cherokees. This right here, as you can see, has a tendency to uh, get loose. The reason being is because there's a spring on the inside to that comes loose. The spring comes unattached. And so it causes it to malfunction when you wanna open up your, your gas door, it doesn't open. So sometimes you got to have somebody in there push the button while you're out here trying to pull on it to get it open or it has a release on the inside in the back here. There's a compartment here. You lift up this little bucket and there's a little uh, lever inside there that you pull and it will release it. From my understanding, if you were to take this to the dealership to have fixed, you're looking at paying four to $500 from what I'm told to have this fixed because this has to be removed. But from my understanding also, it's only at the most 15, 20 minute job. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can't knock this out. So this being a 2000, 2014 Dodge Durango Citadel, we are going to see if we can't get this removed and see if we can't get it fixed. So we're gonna see if we can't get this off. The first thing is to take the door off. There is a small lever here that if you pull that lever, you're gonna be able to slide that door right off. That little door will come off very easily. So, take that little door off, and then there's a rubber seal that's around the, the nozzle that will also come off very easily. And inside, inside the door, we have a couple of clips inside of here to remove the lever itself. Now this lever, when you take these clips out, you can then just push this little lever on the inside and just to get it out of your way. But there are a couple of clips to remove that lever. Yeah, a little hard to see. And you, you, definitely, you definitely want to be careful with these. You don't want to break them. So be careful if you have to remove these. Definitely be careful because from my understanding, from once again watching it done, I watched the guy break them. So I'm going to try to be careful with this because I don't want to break them. I don't want to go back and try to buy any to fix it. I'm trying to fix something without breaking something to fix it. So I may have to get me a light so I can see up here exactly how these clips are removed because it is, it's kind of hard to see. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna run a light out here so I can actually see what I'm about to remove. So just stick with me, hold on just a minute and I'm gonna see if I can't get a light out here so I can see exactly what's going on. Okay, and this should help me to see what we got going on up in here. Okay, actually, Actually, they're not clips to remove. There's just a couple of, um, it's, it's a clip itself that is attached to the mechanism itself. It's not actually clips to be removed, but you are pushing these little tabs to remove the lever itself. So it's not clips, it is, it is, the removing of these little yeah that's yeah I want to I want to be careful with that I see exactly how they are to be removed and I do want to be careful with it because it doesn't seem as though it gives it much play so we're gonna try we're gonna try some very small screwdriver heads because it looks as though I can manipulate that but I just got to be careful I don't want to break it so let's try it Understanding, 
just took it and spun it. There, see, broke that clip right off. But hopefully we won't break the other one. And from the looks of it, We got here. I better do the smart thing and wrap me a string around that so that it doesn't fall down in there, then I can't get it. So let me let me do that. Yes, I could have used something as small as a shoestring, but this is all that I have available right now. So this is what I'm going to attempt to use. Maybe. Okay, now here comes the part of the manipulating that it was showing me. Oh, I need to get this out. That's all I gotta get around this gas. So that means there's a spring. Okay, you gotta twist that thing to get it out. But this is what happens. This pin comes out of its place. That's exactly what happens, but if this pin comes out of its place, you gotta put the pin back down through it. Once you get the pin back in its place, then you can put the spring back on it. And the spring, okay, so the spring must, I'm like this, that if I get right there. Boy, this is a dirty mess. When I say this is dirty, it's dirty. Let me wipe this thing off. And I'll come right back to you. I gotta wipe this thing off. This thing is filthy. Yeah. All right, everybody, we back, we back. We ran into some troubles. We ran into some troubles. We had to do some modifications. <laughs> yes, indeed, we ran into some troubles. This particular piece here is made out of plastic and it broke. So I had to come up with an ideal, quick, fast, and in a hurry. So I made, I, I took some, some um, well, actually it was a quarter inch steel rod. Um, I made sure that it was the right size to slide down inside here, which was the same size of the plastic piece that came out. And the plastic piece had a, a, a flat piece on the top of it. And that's what broke off. So what I had to end up doing, I had to end up heating this flat, or this round rod, heating it and then flatting it out, drilling a hole in it to accommodate the spring so that we can get that spring action once again. So I ran into some, some, some troubles, but because of quick thinking, uh, I got it fixed. They, they should have made this more sturdier than plastic. It didn't take much for me to break that little plastic piece right off. And I'll show you exactly what part of it broke. I thought I could drill a hole through it, run a screw through it, the top and the shaft of it, put it back together, it didn't work that way. So I had to go another route 
and the route that I took, it worked. So we're gonna put this thing back in and uh, see how it come out. A little chilly out here. I've been out here for a minute, but I've been in the garage. But we're gonna see if we can get this put back in here and, and be done with this thing for today because it has turned into more of a job than I expected. So we're gonna see if we can get this thing put back together and see if it works, which it should work. Shouldn't have any problem with it working. But for now, we're gonna see if we can get it put back in here. For anybody that has to take them out, you're not gonna just pull it out. It's a twist situation. You gotta twist it to take it out. So if you gotta twist it to take it out, you're gonna have to twist it to put it back in. So let's see if I can't get this thing put back in here, give you a good vision as to what I'm doing here to get it put back in. There we go. All right. Wasn't too bad. But we got it. Got it back in. Put our retaining ring back on it. As far as it goes, I'd have thought it went on further than that, but I guess that's as far as it goes. Okay, we'll see if we can't bring this back up through here. Okay, we got him back through the hole. So we can get him plugged back in. him in before I take the string off of it so I know it's not going to fall down in there and get away from me. Then I'll be taking this thing all back loose to get down in there to get it. Too much work. So I would say leave the string on until you get it plugged back in. Then you can take the string off. This goes down in a little channel here. Down back in that little channel, and push him back in place. And that one little little ear on that clip being broke off, just a small little ear. Evidently, from pushing this back in there and locking it back in place, it's not going anywhere. Okay, we'll slide the door back on. back on. It's just a matter of sliding to clean that filth up before I put it back on. It's just a matter of sliding it back on where it came off. I reckon All right, all right, all right. We're gonna call that a wrap. And it's chilly out here. I done got cold. I got it fixed though. I done got cold, got chilly. 
I'm about to go in the crib. Cause this adventure is over. This adventure is O-V-E-R. I'm going to the house where it's warm. And um, hey, we're gonna come back at you later on with another video, but hey, if I helped you in any way, you got you a Dodge Durango, hey, it ain't as easy as they say it is. There's there's a little bit of uh, finagling. You can break some stuff. As you saw, you can break some stuff. And um, once you break it, it's broke. But uh, I'll show you what I ended up breaking. I had to go back and fix. I had to go back and make one. But what I ended up breaking was this little piece. It doesn't look broke now, but had to drill a hole down through the top, put a screw down through it, and that still didn't solve the problem because this piece was turning. It would turn, and it's not supposed to turn. It's turning on that shaft. That shaft has to remain stationary. That's why they put that little leg. You can see that little leg right there. Right there is a little leg. Boy, my fingernails is dirty. I done got dirty, but it had to have something on it to lock down in there to turn, to kick that door open. If it didn't have that leg on, all that's doing is spinning inside it. But we got it done. We got it done. And um, I'm done messing around out here. So, first time coming to the channel, I'm once again, I'm always going, I'm always going to say welcome to the channel. And if, uh, if you like, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Totally up to you. I'm not going to force you to do anything. Can't know what. I can just ask. So if you like what you saw, hit the like button. And um, we got more videos to come. We got so much, so much going on. We got, we got a lot of going, a lot of things going on. I didn't know that my channel would com completely entail car stuff, but it looks like that's what it's going to be consisting of for quite some time. I got a lot of projects on the burner. You see that bad boy sitting there, he, 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 he waiting on me. He waiting, I'm waiting and he waiting. So we're gonna wait together. When we get done waiting, we're gonna be, we're gonna be riding together. So y'all gonna be riding with us. So with all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna shut this video off and uh, we'll come back with another one real shortly, real soon. So wait on it, hit the notification bell. And as soon as I post the next video, you'll be the first one to catch it. All that being said, 392 Blurred Lines coming at you. Peace out.